Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to drawing arc and circle shaped perimeter lines. During the tutorial I will cover drawing convex and concave arcs in perimeter walls, drawing circular perimeters and finally drawing a dome. Further information on the topics covered is available in the help file. I'll start the tutorial by showing you the model that I'll be producing to help you visualize the process as we go through. The model is an odd shape, but the intention is to demonstrate the process of drawing the different types of arc and circular geometry, which takes precedence over architectural rigor in this context. The building has five meter radius convex arcs on the southern corners here. a 20 meter convex feature on the south facade here and two 5 meter radius concave arc features here and here. I've added a circular first floor with a dome shaped second floor. Note that I've intentionally selected no glazing throughout the building. I'll now start to draw the model using the defaults. With the north wall perimeter line of 70 meters, and the straight section of the east wall at 20 meters. To produce the convex radius on the southeast corner, I must first change the line type to arc and ensure the sweep angle is set to 90 degrees here, leaving the number of segments set to 10. In Design Builder Geometry, arcs are composed of a series of polygon straight lines and the accuracy of the arc depends on the number of segments selected here. It is advisable to produce your geometry with the minimum acceptable number of segments as this minimizes the number of surfaces and the resulting simulation time. I'll also switch on increment snaps. And set the increment to one meter. Moving back to the edit screen, I can now easily locate the arc with a 5 meter radius with a left click. I now change the line type back to straight and draw the 5 meter straight section of wall. To produce the concave feature, I change the line type to arc and change the sweep angle to minus 90 degrees. Moving back to the edit screen, I can simply type in the length of 5 meters and press enter to draw the first arc. I can then use the drawing guide to quickly finalize the semicircular feature. I then draw another 5 meter long straight line. To produce the 20 meter wide convex feature in the middle of the south facade, I change the line type back to arc and set the sweep angle to 180 degrees this time. and left click to confirm the radius at 10 meters and then draw another 5 meter straight line. A 
I can now produce the second concave feature and the final corner using the techniques I've just demonstrated. Change that to minus 180 degrees. back to 90 degrees five meters and complete the ground floor block by clicking back on the start point I now wish to add a circular first floor of 20 meters diameter which is located directly above the central convex feature on the southern facade of the ground floor here. The add block tool is already selected. Set the perimeter shape to circle and keep the default number of segments here to match the segments on the ground floor. Locate the center point of this part of the block and left click. Move the cursor to the perimeter of the ground floor feature and confirm the perimeter of the first floor block by left clicking on this end snap point. You can see that the circular features on the ground and first floors are fully aligned. I'll now complete the model by drawing the domed second floor. The add block tool is already selected. Change the block form to dome. Again retain the defaults. Select the center point of the first floor as the center of the dome with a left click and use a perimeter endpoint snap to define the dome radius with a second left click. In drawing our odd shape building we've covered the key principles involved with drawing arcs, circles and domes. Further information on these topics can be found in the help file and other tutorials.